Hi everybody, I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to be covering Radiant Black. He made his first appearance in the self-titled Radiant Black, issue number one, that was released in February of 2021. This is a mantle that's been carried by two different individuals, with the first one being Nathan Burnett, who has hazel eyes and light brown hair and an average build, and the second one, who is his friend, being Marshall Ward, who has dark brown eyes and black hair and is slightly shorter than Nathan, he also having an average build. Now, Radiant Black is the headlining series of a critically acclaimed new massive verse within the Image Comics universe, being considered the best new series within Image, billing itself as a mix between Invincible and the Power Rangers. That being said, the Radiant Black itself is actually one of several Radiants, as they're called, and it gives its wielder a powerful cosmic suit that allows them to fly, gives them moderate superhuman strength and durability, not to mention vast telekinetic abilities, as well as powerful cosmic blasts. And that's just what we know so far, because it's believed that the better the connection you have with the Radiant, the more powers will be revealed. Radiant Black seems to be the most powerful of all the Radiants and acts as somewhat of a de facto leader of this group. The other Radiants include Eva, who's the internet gamer become Radiant Pink, who can teleport, Wendell George, who's a middle-aged yet somewhat athletic black man who becomes Radiant Yellow and has the ability to perceive time, including possibilities of potential futures, and Satomi Song, who's an Asian-American middle school teacher who becomes Radiant Red, who can absorb materials and bulk up and change her size. Interestingly, her story starts her out as somewhat of a villain. But regardless, two of these other Radiants, being the Pink and Red Radiant, have their own miniseries. That's not to mention the other franchises that Radiant Black has spawned within the Massiverse, including Rogue Sun, Dead Lucky, Inferno Girl Red, Cow, and No One. So as you can see, Radiant Black is a pretty big deal. And as a side note, I personally have to say that I think Radiant Black is one of the most crucial names of any character I've ever heard, due to the fact that the color black is the only color that doesn't shine, which means how can it be radiant? I don't know, I'm just saying, I think it's pretty cool. Now, we first see the Radiant Black Nathan appear as a 30-year-old failed writer in LA, who's also failing at two different jobs. Not to mention his credit card debt piling up and recently moving back home with his parents. One day he and his longtime best friend and co-worker Marshall stumble across the black cosmic radiant, which had settled on Earth along with the other color radiant. When Nathan reaches out to this mysterious cosmic power, it bonds to him and unleashes raw power, changing him into the first radiant black. It takes him quite a while to get used to the suit and to train in it, most often alongside his friend Marshall. But before long, we realize that this power doesn't belong to him, and the cosmic beings that created it wants it back. This is just one of many different problems that will come his way now that he's a quote-unquote superhero. Matter of fact, Nathan's early run-ins with Satomi, who herself had recently gained the Radiant Red powers, would cause him to actually go into a coma. She was fighting fiercely because she had her own personal reasons for why she was robbing banks. But Nathan being out of commission would spark Marshall taking on the Radiant Black power for himself. Not only doing the heroic thing in many different scenarios, but also seeking vengeance against Radiant Red for his friend. This is when we start to clearly see that Radiant Black is the dominant Radiant, with him handily beating Radiant Red. And this prompts Satomi to rethink her villainous or anti-hero ways, with her eventually becoming a hero. Now, eventually Nathan does come out of his coma, and the two friends share the Radiant Black powers, fighting enemies for many months alongside each other, as well as with the assistance of the other Radiants. But it soon becomes clear that the two cannot continue in this capacity, with the issues number 26 and 26.5 being the first of several issues to be split with stories that coincide with each of their perspectives. These dual issues have even had separate art teams that have worked on their storyline. The major event of these split issues is known as the Catalyst War, 
and it's a very ambitious story that's been building up for two years. Both perspectives are very integral to the event itself, highlighting the different choices that Nathan and Marshall make and how those impact their respective worlds. But here's the thing, if both of them survive the end of this event, we'll see who the one true Radiant Black will be from here on out at the end of April of 2024 in Radiant Black, issue number 30.5. I have a feeling that we'll then see what power this Radiant suit really has. Now, for its powers and abilities, and its influence on the Image Comics and Massive Verse universe, for my 1 to 10 rating, I'll give the Radiant Black a rating of 10, which is a legendary rating. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you next time. Be sure to like, subscribe, and join the new Sage.